More and more sites are being targeted by thieves who are stealing high quantities of fuel directly from tanks. Here at Fairbanks, we're constantly developing new solutions to reduce the time it takes to alert you of a fuel theft from your tanks. One system we have is the internal external claxing alarms, which are being installed on high-risk sites across the MRH network. The alarms are designed to trigger in the event of somebody removing the probe or removing high quantities of fuel from the tank, immediately alerting the staff on duty or neighbouring properties if you have an external klaxon, as well as alerting the area manager via a phone call. In this video, we'll show you what a klaxon looks like, what they sound like, and the procedure to follow should a klaxon trigger. The internal klaxon is a small white box usually installed above the office door inside the back office. On rare occasions, the klaxon may have to be installed in other locations on site due to logistical reasons. When the klaxon is installed, a poster will be displayed near its location, showing the procedure to follow should the klaxon trigger. The external klaxon is designed for sites that are usually closed at night. This klaxon is a larger model with a higher sound output to draw attention and to act as a deterrent for thieves. Both klaxons have a high sound output. Here's what an internal klaxon sounds like. And here's what an external klaxon sounds like. It's likely, if your klaxon triggers, it will be during the night. If you or your staff are on duty when an internal klaxon triggers, they should proceed to secure the shop and call 999 for the police to attend. The safety of you and your staff is paramount, and at no point should you leave the shop to investigate or try and confront the thief. The klaxon will automatically silence after a period of 15 to 20 minutes. It's worth bearing in mind if you're aware of a fault with your pro ball gauge that may cause the klaxon to falsely trigger, that you should contact Fairbanks and we will temporarily disable the alarm until the fault has been resolved.